Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to go over cross-compiling Linux and Unreal on Windows. Cross-compiling is very useful because it allows you to build and package any Unreal project for Linux devices without having a Linux computer. Another advantage to cross-compilation is that Amazon GameLift, which is a service for deploying game servers, has cheaper pricing for Linux servers. But for this part of the tutorial, I'm only going to simply go over the bare minimum requirements needed to build for Linux from a Windows machine. I'm also going to be using in this tutorial Unreal version 4.22 and Visual Studio 2019. So to get started, go to this link that I'll have in the description below for the Unreal Engine docs so that we can install the Linux toolchain, which is basically the tools used by Unreal to build for Linux. Unreal specifically uses the Clang compiler. And since I'm using 4.22, I'm just gonna click on version 13 here. And once this is done downloading, just click it to run the executable. Once you've started the executable, your computer's Windows Defender might think that this application is a risk to your computer. That's fine, just click more info and click run anyway. And then once you do that, then your computer is going to ask you if it's okay that this application makes changes to your device. Just click yes to that as well. Then all you need to do is click next and then install and wait for this to finish. Once the tool chain is finished installing, we now have to add a new system environment variable. So go down and look up system environment and you should see something called edit the system environment variable. So just click on that and then it'll take you to the system properties window. Click this button called environment variables and down where it says system variables, click on the new variable and we're gonna add a new variable. Its name is going to be Linux underscore multi arc underscore root in all caps. And then for the value, it's just gonna be a path to a folder within the Unreal tool chains folder that should have been made after you installed this tool chain. So it should be C colon um, backslash Unreal tool chains slash v13 uh, underscore clang dash 7.0.1 dash sent os 7 slash and then just click ok and then click ok and then click ok so i know i've gone over this before but the only way to do cross compilation for linux is if you have unreal engine built from source so if you know how to do this or if you've already done it you can skip to later in the video but for those who don't have Unreal Engine built from source, go to epicgames.com, sign in, go to your account name here, click account. It'll take you to this page and then click on the connected accounts tab on the left here and connect your GitHub account. The reason for this is because you will need access to the Unreal Engine source build on GitHub. It's a private repo because only people who have connected their GitHub accounts on epicgames.com have access. So once you have access to this, go to the cloner download button and download the zip. Once you have finished downloading Unreal Engine from source, don't forget to extract the files. And then once you've done that, go to command prompt and make sure to open it in administrator mode by right clicking and click run as administrator. And then you're going to want to CD into the path of your source build for Unreal. And you're going to want to run two commands to build the engine files. So, and by the way, you have to do this if you've already built Unreal Engine from source, because you most likely built these files before you got the Linux tool chain. So this is just going to be two commands. You're first going to want to run setup.bat. I'm not actually going to run this because I've already done it. But after that command finishes, you're also going to want to run generate project files dot that and you're going to want to add a hyphen and then the year of the version of Visual Studio you're using. So in my case, I would do 2019. Again, I've already done this, so I'm not going to run it again. Once you have finished running those two commands, you should see a file now in your Unreal Source Build folder called ue4.sln. Just open that up and that should open up Visual Studio. Once Visual Studio is opened up, 
you're already going to notice if you hover down this drop down the solution platforms drop down you will now see linux as a eligible platform and now you're going to have to build the engine in visual studio so make sure for the solution configuration you have development editor selected and instead of linux you should have the win 64 um, solution platform selected because you are still on a windows machine so you still have to build the engine for windows and then once you have those options selected right click ue4 here under the engines folder and click build once the engine has finished building i'm going to now go to a existing project that i have in the file explorer that was built originally with a non-source version of unreal engine and I'm just going to go to the U project file. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to select switch Unreal Engine version. And I'm going to make sure that in this drop down menu that I have selected the source build or at least one of the source build versions of Unreal Engine that I have. So just click OK and let that do its thing. So I've noticed many times after I switch Unreal Engine versions or I generate um, project files, that when I go and click the U project file after doing either of those steps, it prompts me to rebuild the project in Visual Studio. So to do that, just click on the SLN file and it'll take you to Visual Studio. Make sure you have development editor and Win64 selected and go to your project under the games folder in the solution explorer on the right, right click and select build. So now when you double click the U project file, you should have no problem opening the project in Unreal Engine. And now we're going to start packaging the project for Linux. And to do that, go to file on the top left, go to package project and select Linux and then select select folder. You'll see a notification for packaging project for Linux. Click on show output log. This will basically give you a view of the output log. And this will tell you whether or not the build um, fails or succeeds. And it's pretty much more useful for when it fails because if a build fails, you will be able to see errors that caused the failure within this output log. They'll also be saved to a actual log file. So if you go to the folder where Unreal Engine source build is located, go to the engine folder, then go to programs, then go to Unreal build tool. And this log file is essentially the same content wise as what you see in this output log window in Unreal Engine. And once again, it can be super useful for debugging because it will tell you the exact errors that prevented your project from compiling successfully. After your game is finished packaging, go to File Explorer, specifically where your project is located, and you'll now notice a new folder called Linux No Editor. And this folder essentially contains everything you need to run the game on a Linux computer outside of the Unreal Engine editor. And you can distribute the contents of this folder to anyone else on a Linux computer and they'll be able to run your game as well. And that pretty much covers everything you need to do to cross compile Linux. And for the next part of this tutorial, we're going to go over how to do the exact same thing, but for projects that interface with Amazon GameLift as well as how to build a Linux dedicated server for Unreal Engine and deploy that to Amazon GameLift. The link to that will be in the description below, so please watch if you are interested.